Good morning and welcome to St. Vincent College's 2021 Winter Commencement Ceremony. This year we celebrated the 175th anniversary of St. Vincent College and today we gather to recognize the accomplishments of our graduates who this year completed bachelor's and master's degrees. Presiding over our ceremony is the Right Reverend Martin Depor Bartle of the Order of St. Benedict, Archabbot and Chancellor of St. Vincent College. Joining me also on the stage to celebrate your accomplishments today are Reverend Paul Taylor, the President of St. Vincent College, Ms. Viviana Borio, representing the Board of Directors of St. Vincent College, Reverend Maximilian Maxwell of the Order of St. Benedict, the Director of Campus Ministry, Dr. Jeffrey Mallory, the Executive Vice President of the College, and Dr. Tim Kelly, the President of the Faculty Council. Please remain standing and gentlemen, please remove your caps for the national anthem followed by the invocation which will be given by Archabbot Martin. After that, please be seated. Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. For the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets were glad, the bombs bursting in air. Keep through through the night that our flag was still. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we ask you now for your almighty hand to be upon our graduates as they and their families celebrate this great milestone. May they find comfort from our community's continued embrace and support as they journey through life. May they find strength in the excellence of their academic preparation. Bless their lives with goodness and success. Enable them to stay true to their dreams for your greater glory, to discern what is right, good, and just, and to use their gifts wisely and in service to others. Empower them to walk into the future with faith, hope, and great love, guided by your light, so that they may use their talents to venture, in the words of our founder, Father Boniface Wimmer, forward, always forward, everywhere forward, toward your light and your truth. Grace be to them, grace be to us all, through Christ our Lord, amen. I would now ask Father Paul Taylor to come forward and give some introductory remarks. Thank you, Father Philip. Good morning and welcome to St. Vincent College for this December commencement. As we rec recognize our graduates at the end of this fall semester 2021, we celebrate this milestone in person with still many joining us virtually. Welcome all. 
To all of our graduates, congratulations. Your commitment to completing your degree and doing so amid extraordinary circumstances is not only commendable, it is inspiring. We are proud to call each of you Bearcats and now alumni of St. Vincent College. To the parents, family, friends, and loved ones who are joining us today, we are thankful for you and the role you have played in the lives of these graduates. Your support has enabled these young people to overcome these challenges and embrace the opportunities here at St. Vincent. To the faculty, staff, and administration, your dedication to our students remains central to the St. Vincent experience and is the reason that these graduates are now prepared to lead the world they are entering after St. Vincent. At this time, I am pleased to introduce today's commencement speaker, Mr. Evan Frazier. Born and raised in Pittsburgh, Mr. Frazier sought after wisdom and knowledge at distinguished universities and then returned to his native city to bring to bear his gifts to build up this community. We are also pleased to welcome his mother, Mrs. Brenda Frazier, from whom much of that initial wisdom came. Mr. Frazier has put his vision to work with leadership positions in Pittsburgh at PNC, Manchester Bidwell Corporation, and Highmark, and others. I first met Evan while he was at Highmark as Senior Vice President for Community Affairs. Many of you know Highmark as a prominent health care and health insurance provider in the region and nationwide. But I can tell you that when the leaders of Pittsburgh knew Highmark, it was always through the vision and the voice of Mr. Evan Frazier. His success there, though, inspired him to an even greater vision. Throughout his career, Evan knew that leadership was not easy and that mentoring and collaboration would foster more leaders in our region. Those that helped him inspired him to help others. So when he saw that success, particularly in the mentoring and leadership model that he crafted, just see his book, Most Likely to Succeed, The Frazier Formula for Success, he began this new, the Advanced Leadership Institute, TALI for short, whose mission is to cultivate black executive leadership to strengthen companies, institutions, and communities. Evan, thank you for your presence with us today and for offering your wisdom to our graduates. Graduates and friends, please join me in welcoming Mr. Evan Frazier. Good morning. It is uh, my pleasure uh, this morning. I uh, just want to uh, acknowledge the distinguished faculty and administrators, the graduates, and guests. What an honor it is for me to be here with you to deliver the commencement address here at St. Vincent College. Thank you, Father Paul, and my dear friend. Uh, Jeffrey, Jeff Mallory, uh, thank you, uh, for this opportunity to be here with you today. Uh, I've always uh, been impressed with St. Vincent uh, College and with the quality of uh, education, uh, as well as the connection to the Pittsburgh Steelers. It's always been a great, uh, a great connection for me here. However, I recently learned during a lunch uh, and uh, with Father Paul and with Jeff, that St. Vincent is the largest monastery in the world, right here in southwestern Pennsylvania. How cool is that? <laughs> Since uh, my wife and, and kids are traveling, I'm pleased to be here today with my mother, Brenda Frazier, who has been an inspiration uh, in my life. 
uh, as a former teacher, advocate, uh, uh, activist, uh, civic leader, business person, public official. Uh, she has really been a role model uh, for me and so many others throughout the years. Thank you, Mom, for being here. <laughs> College graduation is a very special time in our lives. Uh, for parents and families, it's time uh, it's a time where we see loved ones who advance and celebrate the transition into new phases uh, of our life. For the graduates, it's a time of completion and new beginnings. It's an important time to reflect on recent years about the knowledge you gained, the experiences that you've had, and the relationships that you have formed during your college experience. Some of the relationships you may recall uh, that you may call upon uh, from time to time uh, throughout your life. And then there are other relationships that you've built where you're going to stay connected for your entire life. In addition to these traditional experiences that have bound college graduates together through the generations, indeed, this graduating class has faced some unique circumstances based on things happening in our society. First, we're all impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic, something that none of us saw coming, but each of us are impacted in profound ways. It forced us to work remotely, take classes online, socialize differently, as well as wear masks to protect ourselves, loved ones, and others in our community. And unfortunately, for many, it has caused a great deal of loss, loss of jobs and economic security, and even death of friends and family members due to the devastating impact of the pandemic. One of the things that we have learned from COVID-19 is that life is unscripted. We must be flexible in our thinking, in our mindset to adapt and be able to positively navigate the future. It's important to be able to apply the quality education that you received from St. Vincent College, not just for a predetermined career, but you may need to apply it to a new lifestyle or even new jobs that haven't even yet been created. In a book entitled Mindset, The New Psychology of Success, Stanford University psychologist Dr. Carol Dweck talks about the difference of having a growth mindset as opposed to a fixed mindset. She defines people with a fixed mindset as those who believe their abilities are fixed and that their abilities, uh, and that they are less likely to be able to grow as opposed to those with the growth mindset, people who believe that their abilities can be developed. The leaders of tomorrow will need a growth mindset to be able to acquire new skills, adapt to new circumstances, and successfully handle the challenges that face us. Another special circumstance that you have witnessed as a student is what some term as the Great Awakening. In the aftermath of the tragic deaths of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, which has launched significant national protests, political unrest, and a renewed focus on diversity, equity, and inclusion. While racial inequality is not new in our country, for many, it became clear for the very first time that racism still exists in present society with clear evidence of its ugliness. For me, the evidence of racism was not new. It was there all along, but to many it was invisible. In fact, several years prior to the incidents of the summer of 2020, 
I, along with others, felt and saw the effects of institutional racism and started an initiative that grew into the Advanced Leadership Institute, whose mission is to cultivate black executive leadership to strengthen companies, institutions, and communities. This is the institute that I currently lead today. As students, you, all, you also witness a country being divided over race, issues of politics, gender equality, and environment. Many of you likely participated in debates on campus, perhaps virtually, between Black Lives Matter versus All Lives Matter. This notion of what is fake news and was the election really stolen? Wherever you stand on these issues, the bottom line is we are living in dynamic times where there are many, where in many respects, the country is divided. The impact of this division is making people domestically and around the world to question the United States our ability to lead and whether democracy is still viable and even desirable. My wife and I just returned from France a, a couple days ago, and it made me think about the United States and the important role that we play across the world. In my recent travels to New York City, it was clear, it was a clear reminder of how diverse we are as a country and how important and the important need to embrace DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion, so that we can take advantage of creativity and talents for us to be able to remain competitive in the world. Despite the challenges that we face, I believe in the resilience of the American people and the system of government. One of the reasons that I'm encouraged is that universities like St. Vincent College are educating talented students like today's graduate cl graduating class today, reinforcing the importance of God and faith and encouraging responsible leadership. Leadership and faith really do matter. As you prepare yourselves to go into the next phase of your life, it is my hope that you will utilize your education to find solutions to the challenges that we face in our society, to seek to unify and not divide. Stand up for what is right and just and be leaders who make a difference in your family, in your community, in business, your profession, our country, and indeed the world. As I prepare to close, I wanted to leave you with something that I developed when I was a senior at Cornell University. Over the years, I spoke about it, applied it to my life, and many have benefited from it. It's a success framework that became known as the Frazier Formula for Success. And ultimately, I ended up writing a book on this concept. The main formula is, and I want to share it with you today, S equals VPA to the R power. What could that possibly be? Since we don't have a lot of time today, I'll break it down pretty quickly. And so it really stands for success equals your vision, creating a plan, and the right attitude. Let me share a little bit more about that. Your vision is your long-term view of where you see yourself in the future. Your vision statement, if you really think about it, it's your predetermined criteria for success. It's a very powerful thing when you write it down. It becomes a strategic lens for your decisions and allows you to become a participant in defining success in your life. And I found that your vision, in creating a vision statement, 
is a very, very powerful tool to be able to uh, allow you to do those things and to have a strategic lens. The second step is a plan. Makes sense. While your vision is where you want to go, your plan is really your roadmap for how you're, you're going to get there. And when you create your plan, it's important not to just think about the professional. You need to think about both personal and professional steps that you need to take to be successful in achieving your vision. The plan should continue to evolve on a regular basis. And then the third step starts with vision, then there's a, a plan. The, th the third step is the right attitude. Not attitude, but the right attitude. There is a difference. So the attitude, and in, in, in when I talk about the right attitude, it's one that's aligned to your vision. So this encompasses not only your mood, but it's a combination of your perspective, your orientation, and outlook towards goals, other people, and self. Things like, do you believe you can achieve your vision? Do you really believe it? Do you look at the glass half full or half empty? And just the importance of perseverance, as you know, to be successful in anything, it requires perseverance to be able to push through the challenging times, because there are always challenging times. Life is cyclical. You're going to have your high points and your low points. The question is, can you push through it? Do you have the perseverance? It's an attitude. Are you in it to win it? Or are you just in it? That's all attitude. I believe that having a clear vision that motivates you, developing a plan that has concrete, personal, and professional steps to achieve your vision, and aligning the right attitude based on your vision will help you no matter, no matter what you decide to aspire to in your life. I hope you'll utilize the Fraser formula to clarify your purpose and to make a positive impact in your community and in this world. Congratulations to the St. Vincent College graduates. Many blessings to you, your families, and I wish you much success in your future. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Mr. Fraser, for sharing your wisdom with us today. I'm pretty sure that Father Paul is going to want me to adjust my attitude <laughs> to make it a winning one. <laughs> the conferral of degrees will be done by school and program of study. Dr. Gary Quinlevin, Dean of the Alex G. McKenna School of Business, Economics, and Government, assisted by Dr. Michael Yurick and Dr. Aaron Koshin, who will hood the master's candidates in their respective programs will present the graduates of the McKenna School at this time. Criminology Master of Science, Taya Eileen Bush. Christopher John Kell. <laughs> the 
Nicole Renee Kerr. Ryan Lemon. Hannah M. Schotner. Lacey Taylor Wheatley. Management, Operational Excellence, Master of Science. Mark Hulis. Aubrey Ann Centron. <laughs> Luke Joseph Felvo. Aaron Nicole Giancola. Tajay Dijor Goodwin. Braden Keith Hahn. James M. Malone. County Bachelor of Science, Mitchell P. Fuchs. <laughs> Thomas, Joseph Thomas Pavel. <laughs> Rachel Renee Reams, magna cum laude. Business Economics, Bachelor of Science, Ryan Matthew Dutton. <laughs> Criminology, Law and Society, Bachelor of Arts, Dakota Alvarez. <laughs> Gretchen Joy Baker. Brittany Nicole Bame. <laughs> Tanner Brennan Brennaman. <laughs> Kyle Coom, Magna Cum Laude. Andre Lloyd Dixon. Jacqueline Stephanie Guerra. Sheila Renee Harmon, summa cum laude.
Nell Jude Murray. James Thomas Nasida the fifth. Jack Carter Sefchik. <laughs> Finance, Bachelor of Science, Tyler Jones. <laughs> Jackson Pollock Vargo, cum laude. Management, Bachelor of Science, Gianni Alexander Gonzalez. <laughs> Nicholas Sebastian Pei. <laughs> Jessica Diane Stevenson, magna cum laude. Marketing, Bachelor of Science, Aaron J. Austin. <laughs> Brady Alexander DeRico. <laughs> Erica Ellison Xiong Chu McCall. Vincent Kevin Pisnick. Join me in congratulating the August and December 2021 McKenna School graduates. Dr. Stephen Jodas is the Dean of the Herbert W. Boyer School of Natural Sciences, Mathematics, and Computing. I ask him now to present his graduates. Biology, Bachelor of Arts, Caitlin Ashley Bridge. Biology, Bachelor of Science, Sarah Lynn Mills, magna cum laude. Andrea Nicole Pankurek. Chemistry, Bachelor of Science, Caitlin Marie Taylor, cum laude. Engineering Science, Bachelor of Science, Donald James Rossi. Killian Shane Timko. Environmental Science, Bachelor of Science, Keith Thomas Kelp. <laughs> Health Science, Bachelor of Science, Shane Patrick Howe. <laughs> Taylor Ann Mahalo. Integrated Science, Bachelor of Science, Anna Elizabeth D'Onofrio, magna cum laude. <laughs> Christian John Frazier. <laughs> K. 
Caitlin Marie Harrison. Kayla Marie Smith, cum laude. <laughs> Mathematics Engineering, Bachelor of Arts, Joseph Riley Costello, magna cum laude. <laughs> Benjamin Francis Firestone, cum laude. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating the graduates of the Herbert W. Boyer School of Natural Sciences, Mathematics, and Computing. Dr. Elaine Bennett, the Dean of the School of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences, will present her graduates. Dr. Veronica Ent, Chair of the Education Department, will assist her by hooding the recipients of the master's degrees in education. <clears throat> Counselor Education, Master of Science, Serena Ruth Chase. <clears throat> Samantha Lauren Horniak. Sean Cotter Jackson. Colin Patrick McLaughlin. <laughs> Curriculum and Instruction, Master of Science. Tammy Lynn Clark. Michael Joseph Gismondi. Sarah Marie O'Callaghan. Samantha Joan Pichel. <laughs> Educational Leadership, Master of Science, John Kent Reiner. Instructional Design and Technology, Master of Science, Casey Morgan Fuga. <laughs> School Administration, Master of Science, Adam Aaron Zaywalsh. Communication, Bachelor of Arts, Lorenzo Dominic Coda. <laughs> Colony Elizabeth Hauser. <laughs> Giovanna Angelina Sunseri. Early Childhood Education, Bachelor of Science, Benin Xavier, Xavier Brewer, Christopher John Wagner, Graphic Design, Bachelor of Arts, Christopher Paluzzi,
History, Bachelor of Arts, Joshua Thomas Bauman, magna cum laude. Liberal Arts, Bachelor of Arts, Shandon A. Marsden. <laughs> Middle Grade Education, Bachelor of Science, Brett Taylor Psycho. Psychology, Bachelor of Science, Jenna Lathko. Psychology Education, Bachelor of Arts, Dylan Paduano. And please join me in congratulating the December and August graduates from the School of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences. Please stand and gentlemen remove your caps for the singing of the St. Vincent alma mater. St. Vincent family, let us pray. Heavenly Father, during this holy season of Advent, we ask your blessing upon these women and men on their commencement of St. Vincent College. As they prepare to go forth with their degrees in hand, may they also carry within their hearts the mission of St. Vincent, the knowledge they have formed in their studies, the heritage of Benedictine monasticism, and the love of values inherent in the liberal arch approach to life and learning. We pray that they may use these to bring solutions to the world, especially on life's unruly sea. May these, our graduates, continue to open their hearts to your love and guidance and see the values of all human life, so as to live out the Benedictine value of welcoming all as if they were Christ. May the Holy Spirit bless them with wisdom and gratitude to appreciate the gifts of this time and place in their lives. Bless our speaker, Mr. Evan Frazier, as well as his family, and the Advanced Leadership Institute of Pittsburgh, our faculty, students, alumni, administration, our dedicated board, and all gathered today, whether here in person or online, grant success to the work of our hands, 
the sweat of our brow, and the love of our hearts. We ask this in Jesus' name, amen. And may God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.